The Lososo sewage controversy began in the 1980s when septic tanks started failing. It's been, it's been going on a long time arguing back and forth. The Lososo's Community Services District settled on a solution. An $85 million sewer system that would replace more than 5,000 septic tanks. The first phase of the wastewater project wrapped up in 2016, with homeowners paying thousands for lateral lines that connected their homes with the main sewer system. We had to pay $6,000 to be hooked up. And then, of course, to, we, you know, to clean up the rest of the yards, probably another $1,000 or so. The gal that I rent from spent a ton of money and had to dip into some savings that she would rather not have touched. The county contracted with ARB Incorporated to complete part of the project for about $26 million. ARB then sued the county for nearly $23 million in damages over construction-related issues. The county settled, paying ARB nearly $10 million, and ultimately... Everything trickles down. Someone's got to pay for it. The county administrative officer Wade Horton says in a statement, in part, trying this case in court would take significant time and money and wouldn't benefit the people of Los Osos. Some think the county could have saved a lot of money had they switched to sewage more than a decade ago. And the fact that it got tied up as much as it did ultimately meant that everyone who was living out here just suffered more and more. Paying for it, I mean, come on, we all pay taxes. We all, you know, it's a high tax place. How come they don't get any help? It's got to be on the backs of the Los Osos residents. Kelsey McFarland, KSBY News.